Stu, can you just speak to the way that you watched your group battle? Of course, you were battling in the crease, but in the way that they responded, especially in that second period. Yeah, I thought it was, uh, I think that's the reason why we were able to, you know, slow the game down for ourselves. Um, and that's the reason why we were able to come back and, uh, you know, get the win, ultimately. Um, I thought in overtime there were some big plays. Nuji made a glove save on that wraparound, uh, which was pretty impressive. Um, so, yeah, it's, there, there's so many, so many big plays in there. So really proud of the resiliency in the group. In the first period, you had a few big saves, several big saves, especially early. Did you find that that was key to being able to build that momentum? Yeah, I think, I think any time you're able to make a big save, I think it can, it can give our team some confidence. It can also slow the game down a bit, kind of let us uh, take a deep breath, and I think that that's what we were able to do. Um, and then, uh, again, we were able to just, you know, stick with it even though the first period maybe didn't go our way uh you know through the through the whole 20 minutes but being able to come back and you know just calm down and know that we got this was uh was huge Did that one diving blocker save kind of take you back to river bend growing up in edmonton playing road hockey <laughs> road hockey i don't know because maybe actually yeah i i think uh when i was playing road hockey i didn't know how to play goalie so i was swimming a lot but um yeah, it, uh, it actually reminded me of a save against Tampa Bay. Uh, and knowing, going into the third period, kind of remembering what happened and uh, knowing that I learned from those, uh, those mistakes. So it was actually uh, something that reminded me of, uh, you know, s staying ready. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, hum, another goal and an assist for Connor. Like, the greatness he has, does it just kind of get routine seeing it night after night? Uh, I see it, yeah. I mean, we, we see it every day. Um, it's, he's obviously an incredibly special player. Um, I'm, uh, I really like how, he, how he's been leading us. Um, I think that's, uh, that's something that, you know, isn't thrown out there, uh, you know, a ton. And I think the way that he is in the room with the guys, I think that's, that's a big part of uh, the reason why he is the way that he is. Um, so there's a lot more to his greatness. Just talking about your form right now, I mean, you're ten and two in your last twelve starts. Was there a turning point for you personally this season that you kind of had to overcome in, in order to see the success you have now? Yeah, I, th I think uh, I can't really point you out exactly the moment, um, but that's kind of, I think, just being able to stick with it and persevere myself individually uh, was really big for myself. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that goes into it. Um, seeing that. Uh, seeing gratitude um, instead of thinking about all the bad things that that's happening in your life you know thinking about your family and that you got lo loved ones with, with you at all times so that really helped me a lot um, and obviously being around this group you know the guys never lo lo haven't lost faith in me uh, they believe in me and that's been a, a huge reason why I'm still able to you know have confidence in myself as well